Okay, here we are. Getting ready to restore the garage. We're gonna do the ceilings, the walls, and the floor. But the first thing is, gotta get all the junk out. Okay, and when, once we get all the junk out, fix all the stains. Just, we gotta empty the whole garage out. And you'll see, here's the first load of junk. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Uh, we're almost done cleaning out the garage, but my daughter, she needed a, uh, a new uh, a bed frame with the header and the footer. So I had an extra one. It used to be plain wood and I sprayed it to match her uh, bedroom set. But anyway, I like the color so much that I went ahead and I painted the doors. Okay, I painted, let me, uh, let me see here. I painted that door right there. I painted the, uh, the door for the attic, the electric panel, and also this door. And around the uh, water heater. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape it off on uh, both sides and I'm just gonna box it in that corner right there so it'll be uh, uh, against the white background, but that corner will be just the water heater. And there you go. So today's mission is to get rid of all the other stuff. And that's it. We'll be back when the uh, garage is empty because we're gonna start spraying the ceilings and walls today. Back soon, bye for now. Okay, we're back. And the garage is cleaned out. The only thing I have to do is uh, is uh, clean the floors. I kind of roughed it over a little bit. But you're gonna see all these holes. All these holes gotta be patched up all the way around. They're all over the place. I'm gonna paper up, uh, paper up that hose and uh, of course this I'm gonna move out when we get ready to do the floors. Wait till you guys see this corner over here, what I do with that corner. It's gonna be pretty cool. So, I wanna show you also what I did with that garage door because we're also gonna spray the back of the garage door. And you'll notice that I primed all these uh, two by fours. And uh, once we uh, spray the uh, door, the, uh, the wood won't, it won't bleed through. And uh, we're gonna spray all the tracks. We're gonna spray, I'm gonna tape off those windows, tape and paper. All these tracks are gonna be done. And uh, that's the scoop so far. We'll be back with more. Okay, we're back. And I uh, just wanted to show everybody that all the holes are filled. And uh, we're ready to start papering and taping all uh, around the black, the doors, and uh, the windows on the uh, garage door. All those windows, those panels have to be uh, taped and papered. Up here, we're gonna do a little paper and tape in the garage door the lights, fun, fun, fun. We'll be back when we're done. Okay, we're back. And uh, we pretty much prepared the whole garage. You'll see that I taped off all the windows. And you'll see up there where the uh, garage door opener is, those are the big springs. We wanted to cover them. And uh, also the uh, track. So you'll see that I papered that off. And the garage door opener, okay? So you'll see that we've got all the holes patched up and everything's ready to go. I put a little piece of paper underneath the door because we don't want to get any spray paint outside, okay? So we have to be very careful about that. But uh, here's a, a look at what we're getting ready to do. Here's how I papered up the doors. And remember I told you I was gonna box in that water heater. 
So when we spray that, we'll just take the tape off and we'll have nice straight lines. Okay, let's go over here. You'll see the uh, electric panels all papered and taped and also the attic door. Okay, and again, once I spray those ceilings, that black that you see would be gone. It'll be a nice straight cut. And then uh, again, the, uh, the inside door, I've taped the outside. All I gotta do is put paper on it, but I can't lock myself in the garage. So we're gonna be back in a little bit, but I wanna show you what kind of uh, paint we're using on this. We're gonna do everything with a satin finish, and we're using uh, Pittsburgh paint, PPG. Okay, it's a satin finish. It's actually an interior and exterior, pure white, and uh, it's gonna look nice. Okay, so we, uh, we'll be back in a bit. Catch you later. Okay. We're back and the garage is painted. Ceilings, walls, doors. We do have a couple of touch-ups here and there. But you know what? If we're not using a paintbrush at all, all spray came out pretty good. A couple of touch-ups on the electric panel. The attic door came out beautiful. You'll see the walls are nice. The door all cut in. No paintbrush. And there you have it. The ceilings are all done. In fact, turn the lights on a little bit. Notice all the ceilings are nice and white. Stains are gone over in that corner. And uh, that's about it. Oh, let me show you this door. The door came out beautiful. Uh, our tracks are all nice and clean, no paint on them because we papered and taped them off. All these little window panels I taped off. Now that's a pretty good job right there, let me tell you. The next thing, we're going to do some touch up on the ground. And that piece of trim right there, we're going to match that with the uh, doors. It's going to go all the way around over to the, uh, the water heater. Got a couple touch-ups on the doors, but that's about it. We're gonna do those touch-ups. We'll be back, and the next mission today is to paint these floors. We'll be back. Okay, we're all done with the touch-ups. Also, the black trim around the, uh, the bottoms are done. All the door touch-ups are done. All the touch-ups are done, period. Everything's perfect. Time to paint the floors, finally. And uh, we'll be back once floors are painted. Okay, we're back. And as you'll notice, I cut in the floor all the way around. This is uh, Rust-Oleum paint. I'm gonna show you a picture in a little bit of the can. But uh, it takes about 24 hours for it to cure good enough where you can walk on it. So, tomorrow afternoon when this is all dry, we're gonna be able to put stuff back. Okay, but uh, this Rust-Oleum is water-based. It's Battleship Gray. And it's a, uh, it's a satin finish. And uh, just for floors. So, it's a good product. Covers in one coat. You don't even need two coats. So, let me roll this floor out. And we'll be back. Okay, we're back. And guess what? Floors are all painted. Came out beautiful too. Still a little wet in some spots. You could probably see the spots. I just rolled this right here. But that's it. There's the new garage from the New Image Restoration Company since 1982. 
Okay, we're back, and guess what? The garage is done. Here's the finished product. Came up pretty nice. Floors. Bought some new shelving units. Instead of hanging stuff on the walls, and then what I like the most is actually the uh, garage door. So just want to show everybody the garage door first, or actually last. All factory finish sprayed. All the ceilings are done. Everything looks good. And that's it, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and share this video. And uh, we'll see you the next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.